What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC video. But I guess today isn't actually about Sword and Shield, today is about the news that we just received and what it could possibly mean for VGC. Now, keep in mind that this is a lot of speculation and I'm sort of just putting my opinion out there and I want to know what your guys' opinion is uh, in the comment section down below. Uh, but we got some news today regarding two new Pokemon titles and... The future of VGC is pretty up in the air. We're not certain if we'll be moving VGC in 2021 or whenever these games drop uh, to the new game or if we'll be in Sword and Shield for another year. Uh, it's pretty up in the air, so let's go ahead and get into it. So we had two games announced today. The first one was Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now, if you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of Gen 4. It was mostly just that I didn't find the story all that interesting and the engine itself sort of ruined the experience for me. And we got remakes announced today, which I was really hopeful for them to be made in the Sword and Shield engine. So, because I, I like the way the Sword and Shield engine played, just, you know, gameplay-wise. Uh, but as you can see, it's sort of taking a chibi art style, and the battle system itself sort of seems like it's... It, it looks very much Let's Go, if we actually take a look at how the battles uh, work. The, the introduction for the battles themselves, that looks very Let's Go, in my opinion. Uh, on top of that... We, we don't really get to see the UI for selecting moves or anything. However, uh, when we actually look at the battle animations, we can see that, yes, there are, you know, new moves in here. Uh, for what most people are saying and from what we understand, this is going to be a one-to-one -one remake of Diamond and Pearl, which would limit the Pokedex quite a bit. So th there are a couple of possibilities in terms of VGC in the Sinnoh region games. The first possibility is, yes, we are moving VGC to the Sinnoh region, and it's going to be exclusively Sinnoh Dex Pokemon, with a couple of more Pokemon being able to be transferred in, which I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to. I do prefer the way Sword and Shield look. I think that visually this is a downgrade, but gameplay-wise, I would be kind of down to have a format where we don't have any gimmicks like Z-Moves, Megas, or uh, Gigantamax for that matter. I feel like it'd be really interesting if we actually straight up moved to these games uh, and played a very pure VGC format. Now, I did look into it. I did some research. According to the Japanese website, you can't find this information on the English website, so I translated. Um, this game is listed to be one you know a single player experience with competitive and exchange i'm assuming that means trade uh being two to four people so it do, it is confirmed to have online capabilities um which is interesting so what i'm thinking is I, i'm really hoping that this game has an official ladder if, if we were to move to vgc if we were to move vgc to the diamond and pearl remix I feel like it would have to have an official ladder it would have to have a doubles ladder it would have to have battle stadium or whatever this game's equivalent is and we'd have to be able to rank up and stuff and be able to match people online without direct communication. If you don't know how the Let's Go games worked, and the reason I'm talking about Let's Go so much is because the engine feels very Let's Go to me. Um, the way that Let's Go games worked is there was no online ladder. There was no, you know, global stuff in that sense. You had to directly communicate via matching codes. So sort of like when you're trying to find an individual trainer battle in Sword and Shield, when you're not in the battle spot, when you're trying to battle one of your friends, uh, you had to do that, which I'm hoping that isn't the case for this game. I'm hoping that we're able to have an online ladder so we can have VGC battles in this game. However, I don't believe we see any doubles gameplay whatsoever, which is kind of concerning. I'm not certain if that means there is no doubles gameplay. There probably is. I mean, doubles gameplay existed in the Sinnoh region. We saw it quite a bit in trainer battles. So I'd assume that we do have that option here. <clears throat> but uh, that is something to note. However, uh, what I would personally prefer <laughs> and what is looking unlikely right now, because this game <clears throat> is listed to be single player, is we got news about a new Pokemon game that feels like everything we've ever won called Pokemon Legends Arceus, which if you guys want to check out the trailer for this stuff, I'll leave the link to this in the description down below. But as you can see, it's an open world game where it, it, it feels like, I, I've never played Xenoblade, but it looks like what Xenoblade kind of plays like to me, you know, because there's some real time stuff. They're, they're talking about this as an action RPG, and from what, I, from what I understand, Xenoblade is action RPG with some turn based stuff. Uh, I could be completely wrong about that, but I think you know what I mean. Basically, uh, it's going to be a prequel to the Diamond and Pearl games, uh, where it takes place prior to the Pokedex even being completed. You're the first person doing this and that, whatever. It looks really cool, and the seamless integration of battles is actually really awesome. I actually have the original Direct opened up here, because there is turn-based combat when it comes to trainer battles. So trainer battles do exist in this game. As you can see, slash, false swipe, close combat, aerial ace. 
This trainer has a certain amount of Pokeballs in their thing. Their Gallade is level 70. It has traditional HP and stuff. It looks very similar, but just the just the game itself, like it's not a finished engine. The product isn't finished, but just the battles, the fact that they look this way is so huge to me. I feel like I, I would really love it if this game were to have online communication because it just looks so cool, right? It looks so cool and the battles look so awesome. Even though the game runs at like 2 FPS right now, I feel like it'd be really awesome if we could have battles in this game. Uh, they're, at the moment, is they're, they're not confirmed to have online functionality. It is listed as a single player game uh, and there is no mention of competition exchange or whatever that it has, that it has on the other game. So right now, it's not... From what I understand, it's not planned to have online functionality, but if it were to have online functionality, I would personally prefer to play Pokemon in this game. This game looks really cool and I would really love to have VGC move over to this engine because it looks, I'll be honest, just leaps and bounds better than this. Would you rather, would you rather fight a Garchomp like this or would you rather fight a Garchomp like this? Like honestly, I think there is some, there is some like battle animation you can see. Obviously, the game isn't completely finished yet. The game isn't completely finished yet, but we can see a Pokemon attack another Pokemon. I believe we see close combat getting used. Uh, here it is. So, like, I feel like that's just like a tackle. I don't know what it is, but I know we see close combat being used on something. There it is. So we can see this game does have, like, legitimate battle animations. And it looks kind of cool. Uh, what I'm hoping to see is VGC move to this game, but like I said, it isn't confirmed. However... There is the strong possibility that neither of these games are going to be the home to VGC, and I want to talk about that as well. If neither of these games became home to VGC, that would imply two things. Um, one, the next format will remain in Sword and Shield if it exists at all, which I'm pretty certain we're going to keep VGC around. Um, and two, the game would feel kind of old, honestly. With these games being out, I feel like VGC gameplay, like VGC attendance or even just participation would go down overall like i'm not saying sword and shield vgc isn't fun but when these games are out and we're still playing competitive on a different game i feel like overall motivation to play would be very low when these are options uh however i will say i do enjoy having so many pokemon in sword and shield but i don't know i don't know it'd be it'd be weird going backwards it feels like if we went to this game we'd be going backwards and it feels like if we went to this game we wouldn't even have VGC because there, there is an online confirmed. I, I'm just very interested in the future of competitive Pokemon. And some people may say like, oh, you're just, you know, you're overreacting. We're definitely going to still have competitive Pokemon. But I don't know. Uh, a lot of people are, very, are pretty interested in Diamond and Pearl remakes going back to Generation 4 meta when it comes to VGC, which would be like VGC 2008, 2009, which is kind of crazy. Um, but I don't know how I'd feel about it. The lack of fire types in the Diamond and Pearl games is kind of crazy. Like, if we look at the fire types we have at disposal right now, we have Incineroar, we have Entei, we have all these different things. But if I remember correctly, like, the only fire types that Diamond and Pearl had were, like, Heatran, Infernape, and Ponyta. I, I believe you could also get Magmortar as, like, a post-game thing, so that's definitely going to be in the game, but I don't know. But... At this point, I want to open up the floor to you guys. Do you think we're going to be in Sword and Shield for another year? Do you think we're going to move to Diamond and Pearl remakes? Do you think that they'll eventually integrate online into this single player game so you can actually battle your friends, uh, the Legend of Arceus game? And let me know which game you're most excited for in the comment section down below as well. I'm personally leaning towards the idea that we will move VGC over to the Diamond and Pearl remakes, even if it doesn't look amazing. Uh, I, I just, I don't know. I, I just really like the way Sword and Shield look, but... I'm, I'm kind of just using this video to get my ideas out there and wonder what you guys are thinking and just sort of share uh, these ideas here. If there is no VGC, I don't know what I'm going to do with this channel. I'm probably going to become a general Pokemon YouTuber. Maybe I'll do Nuzlocks, but I'm hoping we can stay in VGC. That's always been my main squeeze. That's always been what we've been doing on this channel. Let me know in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.